We're gonna do a song for you here. We've never played this live. First time we're ever gonna try it. We may fuck it up. This song is called The Dagger, ladies and gentlemen. One song that everybody was having a real uh, uh, was having really real trouble with was uh, was the dagger singing the dagger with Howard. You know that was the the song that Howard and I did on Road Runner United. I scared the heck out of Rob Flynn with that because the day we recorded it was pretty much the day I wrote it. <laughs> so eh, what are you gonna do? You <laughs> playing ahead. <laughs> The Dagger, I think, was a little more difficult because it was a new song. It's very powerful and very demanding, you know, technically. I couldn't believe everybody was having such a hard time with it. It was such, it, was, it had had such cool changes in it and such cool riffs, I thought. Paul was game. Paul wanted to play it. Uh, you know, it was, it was, it's a cool song, man. Like, it was, it's a really, like, one of my f more favorite songs on that album. On the one day off that we had, we got a couple of little amps and went back to my hotel room and figured it out. I played guitar on it and Paul played bass. Once you learn, it's no difficult anymore. <laughs> uh, and Howard me, you know, just getting up there doing it, it was like you know, a metal duet. And uh, you know, it was a blast for us to, uh, to do it. No, there was, yeah, there was a lot of dudes on stage, but it was fun. So it was great, you know, it was a, a great song that we performed, I think, uh, very well also. Adam Deuce on the guitar, give it up! Eye for an Eye was fucking awesome. It was great doing Eye for an Eye, you know, especially with the, with the, the lineup we had. You know, it was such a killer backing band with you know, Dino, Logan, Adam, and, and Roy. I thought that was a good time. It's one of my favorite Soulfly songs. Yeah, at this point, I really didn't know what was going on, to tell you the truth. <laughs> New York City! Then we went into Soulfly. Brian Fair was pretty wasted, but he did a great job. Did a great job. <laughs> That's what, happens, that's what happens when you get a bunch of musicians together on free alcohol. He wasn't going to go on for a while, so he had all that time to have some drinks. Yeah. It was definitely late in the night. They'd already had a four-hour open bar before that, and then I didn't play for another two hours after that. Brian Fair was hammered, dude. Holy shit. That fool was fucking... He was, like, he was probably the funniest performance of the night. I remember Brian Fair falling up. <laughs> Uh, off the stage. Contrary to popular belief, I didn't fall off the stage. It was a stage dive gone terribly wrong. I haven't been that drunk since that night because I remember that night, you know? So yeah, yeah, that was definitely a, uh, a, a new level. Brian Fair came out and literally was on stage for one second. <laughs> yeah, one of the kids in front of me turned to his friend and goes, he's so drunk. <laughs> Great. I had a blast that night, man, but probably more fun than I should have had. Because, uh, you know that feeling when you wake up and you're like, I don't know what I did, but I feel like I need to make some apologies, you know? <laughs> I remember well, I was standing on side stage and he came walking down the hallway and he was like stumbling between walls, pretty much bouncing off the walls to get to the stage. He almost got in a fight with like one of the crew guys backstage and shit. Like, he was on fire, man. He's an awesome dude, so we were just fucking cracking up. And he was going in the bathroom and throwing up. I felt bad for his girl. She's like standing outside the bathroom six feet away holding his dreads up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember an hour before he was supposed to go on, he's like, I can't do it. But he made it. So. I do remember just like, you know, like, okay, you know, you're a little hammered, so don't, you know, don't, don't do anything too crazy. And then instantly forgot that I had told myself that and tried to stage that. See, there I go down. See, I was just trying to have people sing along. I didn't fall, see? See, so all you people out there spreading inter internet rumors. 
It's bullshit, man. It was just a very unathletic stage dive. I recently just saw Max down in uh, Ozfest, and he was like, he was psyched on it, so that meant a lot. I was like, I hope he, you know, he's not like, you butchered my song, but he was stoked. So if he gives it the A-OK, -okay, then we're good. <laughs> Back out!